No, I, I was at the for another class and I went to this one instead. <laughs> Just say uh, we'll put it up at the end too. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay, my name is Daryl. Oh, iceberg. Oh, it's Daryl. Oh, we're going back and forth. Class. I think Carl uh, walked into uh, his house back in 1984. It's still here. <laughs> Nonstop. Why did I get this job? Because my son was, it's on you, Dad. Get to get that second job. And I've been doing it ever since. Love, love, and life. So well, here we go. It says it's skill enhancement and employee development day. C, right? Seven benefits of adjunct jobs by David Sawan, Mary Potter. Rick Paulson, you to keep care of this presentation on this group later. We got a guy with the money bill today. Next slide. Thank you. This is my corner. Okay. This is the magnificent team. We're making all help for you guys. Right? Not just join the team. As we part of it. Sorry, what's your name? Derek Lassan. Oh. Our high school. Okay. I'm right. That's it. All right, Andrew Miller. Yeah. What is that word? Yeah. 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 We have 2022. So, next slide that's forthcoming is the driver that was captured in the uh, survey, the stats. Okay? We want to gather feedback from all faculty about the salary benefits, that's key. By a means of specific concerns and questions to be addressed by you. So, it's a suggestion, solution for improving faculty salary and benefits at franchise school college. Next slide. Okay, several respondents. We had 213 actually responded to the survey. 49% were uh, part time faculty, and a whopping 4% were part time. So, I just want to look at it. It's very big. Okay. Next slide. Okay, so uh, I mentioned the stats. It's at this impression gathering. Question number one salary. How sad are you with your current salary? Okay. We had. Uh, 39% were unsatisfied, right? Now we're descending, we had 20% neutral, now neutral though. That's like a seesaw, whether you like it or you don't. We need to figure it out. Our team need to figure out what neutral actually means, right? And we had 77% um, 7, 7 satisfied, 40% very unsatisfied, 5% very satisfied, and one unsure. Hmm. We looked at Maxine, five shows we have. Sometimes we go to man and say, I don't understand that, and this is sort of the graph. In the other state, right? So here we are. Based on the uh, color of the section right here, that's, uh, that's a large section I've satisfied. We've got a great solution, but it's the mechanism of the product. Thank you. Okay, question number two. Are there certain changes that you would like to see made? Of course. Change it to right? So here we go. We had 125 responses. We had raises and the cost of living increase. I like that. Cola. That means that that's what's going to sell. We have the place going on, the mission stay in line, what's going on in terms of how uh, they like. Especially because the family with the uh, faculty at the college, for example, for the family college. I guess uh, it's sort of a bit higher now. So, what can we do about that to change that? A lot higher. It's a lot higher. Oh, sorry, a lot higher. LOT capital. <laughs> right. Thank you. Uh, it should be the family with the faculty, as okay, I said there. Part time overload salary increases, overload quarter. Uh, uh, so thank you. Salary schedule with an annual raises. Okay? I like that. Annual raises, it's good. I recall government giving us something walking like 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%, 4%
best for them to do that. That's good. That's good. Um, four times seven increases the chest just by four times. Yeah, uh, I agree. Want to sit on that? I've been 32 years. I'm happy to be part of the team. So I'm gonna take the charge. Move forward. Any other one from Claudia? Yes, Jim. HRD. Questions I can't ask. Uh, we've got the charge of the pie chart, raises the codes, we've got the blue up here. Oh, the issue that uh, we line with the code side of the inclusive going down with other suggestions. So we need to figure out what those other suggestions are, which is what round is. It's not good. Okay, so what is still thinking about question number two? It's just going to be that. But this is some of the questions that came in. Question number two. I like this one. I, mean, I like this one. It said, four to seven, work 10, five, 10, 50, 30, 30. I have 32. I got 40. Oh, my. Who has the money to me? You all. Thank you. Okay, so we have those questions that came from the uh, staff, uh, copy staff. So next slide, please. Question number three. Do you know what good PPC benefits are and how to access them? I'll be honest. I have looked closely. I have not looked closely. But I'm going to show you some understanding. I'm going to go back to later. I understand it. I'm going to invite the uh, back to me. I'll team back to you all. That's the one objectives. Here's the stat 40% of the funds said yes, 47% of the funds said no. Well, I admit it, 47%. Let me see. I admit that. Question number four. Do you have a satisfied or you wish uh, your current EDC benefits? Uh, there we go again. Do you have a satisfied or you wish your current EDC benefits? Neutral. 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 Then you got down to a uh, 20% satisfied, 50%, 50% unsatisfied, 50% unsure, don't know, 10% very unsatisfied, and 7% very satisfied. satisfied. And here's the breakdown in terms of the graph short here that depicts these categories. So I'll just figure out how we can make uh to the very satisfied, right? Well, 1%. Very satisfied. We don't want everybody over. It's just so much that our team can do. I can show you what the team can figure out the layers, figure out uh, how we can improve what we're doing. New business on the top part. New business. Based on the drive of the team. It's fine. Question number five. Are there any changes that you would like to see made? Of course. Change is good. Right? Change is good. Then two responses. Starting multiple points. I jump down here. It says, uh, there's a change of time and fund options. Health insurance, AP. More benefits on the part time balcony. Don't know if I have benefits. I didn't have benefits, but I didn't know the detail about it. It work. And they have it in the right here. Break down the blue, the time and fund. They thought they like to have more benefits. They leave other suggestions. Okay. Let's see what those other suggestions are. I'm done with this presentation. You have some more suggestions too, like I said. We'll document it. We can do it. I mean, can't promise you can uh, stress everything you see here in the plate. You want to make suggestions on things that you have. Next slide. Okay, so what can we say about question number five? Okay, happen to have access to some health care will be beneficial, spectacular right now in our family. In this case, I found this that uh, well, can't get sick. That's not good. Get back up here, right? And see benefits for part time, second benefit for part time employees are virtually nothing, just like race and work. It is a personal opinion from the books of the survey. I really, I really don't know, as an adjunct, I have benefits, the benefits, I don't know how to get this page. Well, that's communication. Often we have a drive for adjunct. They have quarterly meetings about how many of the here at the college. Maybe they have more of that. 
education. It's a piece of code. Okay, next slide. Question number six salary benefits. What you'd like to know about your salary benefits that you don't already know. Okay, new business. What do I know? I don't know everything. I'd like to think I know everything, but I don't. Right? So, do we have this Does this apply to the Yes, it does. Can we have can we have help? The time we're going to put that to a bullet there. Last bullet, how do how do benefits and salary compared to those of the faculty at different colleges? There are some differences. Maybe more, maybe less, but for which two or two we have here to call. I guess the breakdown. So, let's see, we have, well, it's not in. Almost. More information. What is the definition of another? Well, we know we did call it means maybe with the protein A, PG, since that is. In blue, what are the minutes we talk about? Find out what that is. So, the health insurance and our retirement and do benefits exist already? Is that blue? Do yep. benefits exist? Somebody goes to work with them, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Go back to school. 
Well, I know that the, the adjuncts here make more than the adjuncts at Howard Community College, but at Montgomery College, they make more than we do. And part of that's part of cost of living, right? It's probably more expensive. Than maybe, maybe it's it's like, called a union. Yeah. They have a union. The union bargained, so their minimum salary at Montgomery is four grand for a course. That's how that goes. <laughs> well, and I think, and maybe Sabrina or Derek, you guys, if, and I, I know we have a number of part-time faculty who have taught at Montgomery and either full-time or part-time here. I think even before they had, they had a union, their part-time salaries were a bit higher. Probably a little so, but not. But now they're significantly more, it's true. Um, yeah, and Montgomery has always been higher. Montgomery has always been the lead in all of the Maryland counties when it comes to their adjuncts. And you pay them five. <laughs> you rather have another grant? Uh, yeah. grant. <laughs> okay. But another part of this puzzle, as far as pay, is that they have recently put out a request for proposal and hired a vendor to study that. So it's not at the change part yet, it's the information generating. But then there will be feedback from that survey that will then. We are here today getting information. We will uh, keep working on this as both full and part-time faculty. 
And one other question, thinking back in those salaries, what about in terms of benefits? Is that job? Are the benefits the same at Montgomery College or is this? What Bill tells me that only for the individual, they don't cover kids and spouses and that. And um, they're probably one of the only colleges that offer that. If you was to do a survey throughout the college, nobody offers health insurance for part time faculty. Not to say that that's not something for coming, you know, in the future. But you have to budget for that. So when I when I printed out my because uh, I knew you were going to have this meeting, I'm not going to hold this meeting. But when I printed out when I printed out my earnings statement, FICA Medicare is taken out. Those are taxes. Those, Those are the taxes to pay for. They don't have anything to do with benefits. <laughs> Those are taxes to pay for. So Security and the FICA Medicare, all of them are standard tax deductions. They have to Thank you. Thank you. You know, we all get that regardless of whether we're full time or part time. Thank you. I wish we didn't have to, but, but you're in the right place because that's the kind of question we're here to take care of, right? Between us, especially with Sabrina here. Thank you. Any other questions? Please. Um, I, well, it might not be a question about, about the benefit. Y'all see how long I've been here. We cannot, I cannot, well, like when I went out here and got my little. Hey, this is called from uh, Kai. This is Kai. I was told and been told every time I try to get insurance because I'm part time, I can't get it. But when I tried to get it, it was like double, double, double. double. <laughs> so if I wanted insurance from here and I went from Kai, I would have to pay. I don't even know how much. So I think we have part time to get it. And benefit, health benefits, then we don't. And if I wanted it, I was told if I wanted it, maybe I, I had to pay like super duper double. Like if they used to have at, I really wanted at. And they say, no, you, you fool. I don't even know how I got the little bag. And she said, <laughs> she said, well, you part time. I said, well, can I have a bag anyway? You know, we don't get benefits. And I think we should get benefits. Well, I think we should get benefits. Right, that's fine. No, not marketplace, but I know every time we have here an open house and you have Kaiser and all them, I'm like. I work here, I'm a nurse here, I've been here 41 years. And then I'd be like, can I have something? And they and they like, no, you part time. That's all I keep hearing. But I haven't done marketplace. Right. You should go to the check marketplace. Market I'll check marketplace. Thank you. Can you are tight. And I know about marketplace insurance, but my thing was from here. And you all. And that's that's the thing. I know about marketplace. Until, until the college offers health insurance to part time you would be on for, for the health insurance. Right. You want to get it back. <laughs> um, <laughs> you want to get it back. So I gotta go out. I, I got my insurance through marketplace. That's what that's how I, that's the only way I got that. Okay. I just want to say thank you guys all thank you all to whoever changed the PTO. Like for us adjuncts having to approve time and all that stuff, whoever like switched that off and gives us like unlimited time off, I just want to say thank you because that means a lot. And I'm an adjunct and it was so hard trying to get those hours up, but now if I'm sick, I don't have to worry about like not getting paid because I can't come in. So whoever made that decision, thank you so much. I didn't think I didn't think <laughs> What happened was the Maryland, Maryland I'm, I'm, I'm going to the philosophy area. Um, so the Maryland passed a law a while back that said that you had to give uh, same, same, same part time employees. And at that time, we considered uh, part time faculty part time employees. But then it turned out 
that actually because you're paid on a contract for a course that um you're a what is it that you're a non-exempt employee mm -hmm. exempt. or you're an exempt employee so since you're paid for the course you're not paid by the hour and so if you have to miss a few classes then they're not supposed to take out the money so i'm owed 500 dollars oh. from 2001 oh when i gave some papers when i was part-time here and you can with interest that's about seven million dollars um, yeah, so they never were supposed to be taking money from you. uh but that was clarified a lot of people i guess were doing that and the, the i think it was the feds clarified that because when they first started out right. when, they, when they passed yeah and they first started out we were the gray area the academic world was the gray area and there was a whole bunch of controversy around how to calculate your business like you said you're on contracts so there really is no specific hours so all the universities be like this. then it went back into session and discussion then the outcome was you really should have been exempt from it from the beginning so we ended it we let people use the hours that were out there whoever had them you got to use them but that was it so now you're not held accountable for those absences unless the access turn into the whole semester and then you will be <laughs> unless you give everybody a pay. <laughs> Wait, does that keep recording? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 So um, in terms of the, the full-time salary, you can um, go on the uh, website of the Maryland Association of Community Colleges, right, the MAC, and that has average salary breakdowns. My recollection is that we are within about a grand of the average salary for the state of Maryland for full-time faculty right now. We were well below that. Um, and so we had to hire somebody because I guess nobody knows how to use Google around here. And just mm -hmm. get the data reactive. But, but um, we are now about at the average or maybe a thousand dollars above the average for full time faculty. And then for part time faculty, I've heard various reports where we're number two or, or number four um, or something like that. But the, full, the, the, the bigger question is. Why is it all of this public information in the first place? Because we're public employees at a public institution. And so all of our salaries should be public knowledge. And that's something that we're working on, actually. Right. Well, as you know, no, no, within the committee, we're trying to gather right. that information. Well, I mean, as a citizen of Maryland, you should FOIA how much do these people make, right? Taxpayers know. Like I can Google my wife's salary. She's a public employee in Virginia. I don't know why it would be different in a, in Maryland, right? So this is all this all should be available knowledge. Well, then I think I think what I'm hoping comes out of the study that they're doing is not only so I think in the certain the, the publication you're talking about they have high and low points, right? And averages, but not where people are placed when they're hired, how they progress, and so. I think there's, I, I, I know what you're saying, but I think there's some information to come out of it. Uh, Sabrina and I were just talking about how uh, faculty are placed initially for full timers, uh, uh, which is hopefully important for part time faculty as well, because we do want, in general, to turn our part time faculty into full time faculty. Uh, but, but yeah, and I think we, we are going to continue that conversation. Uh, Let me actually talk. Consultant to do the comp study because, as you stated, we're you're, we're we're average for full time faculty, and we're below average when it comes to the staff. So we wanted to do a full study, and a full study cannot be done on Google. <laughs> There's a little more to it than that. So we're going to partner with them to get that done because, as you know, we had one back in 2009, and we were nine percent behind then. <coughs> So. Well, I thought we were 20% behind. Yeah. <laughs> what are the specifics about adjuncts, particularly? I know a couple years ago, Rick and Senate fought for one day 
basically free way back to that our objection. Well, see, that's what we were just saying before. Before you decided for a day of sick leave, now you're not even required to take leave when you're absent from your class, nor will they mind a suggestion when you're absent from your class. You gotta get a sub. Yes, the sub has, sub has to come and the sub has to be paid, but they will not mind a suggestion. Really? Yeah. No. That's your thought. I have a sub too. Yeah, I, was, I thought that the uh, if it's sub sub for you, then that money comes out of my check. Uh -huh. so, yeah. uh -huh. Not anymore. That that change most definitely change for the poverty. Uh, clearly, yeah. <laughs> it was a check. It was. It was a check. It was a check. Yeah, no. And if somebody thinks if you look at your paychecks and there's something different going on, let yes. us know because. Well, it, it also yeah. says in the faculty handbook, um, or the, the what is it, the faculty guidebook, well, yeah. the, the employee handbook. There, there's supposed to be a collegial system in place anyway. So if you wanted me to, if you had to go somewhere and you said, "Hey, philosophy guy, come teach my class," I would do a terrible job. Uh, I would just do that like as a favor to you, and then you do it a favor for me, and that's actually the industry sort of standard. But here we had the the sub requirement. But the payment for that seemed like it came from you. But now we're just paying the subs because when we went, when they figured that out, they didn't want to pay the subs anymore. And for uh, areas where it's, you really would have subs, that would be a problem because who's going to want to sub for you, right? Because you can't have that many friends who want to do it for free. Any other questions on this side? <laughs> Can I ask you a quick question? So, is it policy then that if you full time or part time, or particularly part time, that's all I care, if you are a sub for somebody, you should get paid? Yes. Is that yes. is that what's happening? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. But the that's, person that you're subbing for is getting paid too. So, two people are even, right. Per, no, that's that is a true step in the right direction. Right? You know who you're going to. Yep. Right. Well, that's when. exactly right. So that's a win, win, win. Baby steps, but. Yes. I did not know they were doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah, they were doing something. Where's the prior? It used to be that way. And you've been a long time. Mr. Crash, you can get mine. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. That has changed. Yes. Uh, okay, the magnet is the table. It's like a magnet. So moving forward, it's a new prior. We're taking good notes of this session, one session. Go back and adjust this. So I make a decision, make a recommendation that we think we don't respond to this. We don't take it to the take it to the front line. Thank you. Uh, we have plenty of questions already. But I got another question. But for, uh, regarding the time with the adjunct, it's my understanding that some adjunct um, here, Prince George's, uh, Prince George's Community College. They have a retirement benefit package, whereas others do not. No, that's not true. All adjuncts, there's no adjunct at Prince George's Community College. That adjunct might have been a full time employee, yes. and now it's strictly an adjunct. Yes. That's okay. a little different. Okay. That's different. But they didn't, yeah. but they didn't but no stay as an adjunct. Tony, I said that back in the day. And we stayed in the first place of working in the lab. And I thought they were on a retirement plan, but unfortunately, they did not. I don't see what they were called to learn in the lab. Of course. In the Murray lab, it's, it, they, they probably was full time staff. In the Murray lab, they also taught as adjuncts. So that's why they would have had a retirement plan and when they retired. Because I have one that is actually back teaching as an adjunct, they just retired. Can you be called to teach the um teachers? Because I, I I get one like I said I pay for mine. Can you call the teacher mm -hmm. something something something? Yeah, the teacher pays. That's what it's yeah. That's what the um part time time is called. Yeah. Because I'm like what I, I when I saw that for me when I said I'm not I'm the nurse not the teacher. I could take that because I said really the, the, the pension plan there's a teacher's pension and there's an employee's pension. Teacher's pension is anybody faculty or staff outside the police officers in the 
um, the facilities maintenance group. Mm -hmm. The position there are still positions like that fall into the employee side, but it's still the same retirement. There's only two different so okay. you're not referring to the supplement because you have TIA. Right. No, no, no. Okay, I just want to make sure she has a picture. I got a T for the guys who are confused with the title. No, no. Get ready. She has a picture. Okay, she's got time. She a nurse? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure can't be a nurse. I'll come to you later. Oh, today. I'm playing. Awesome. Uh, uh, and then jumped out and then jumped out. 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 And <laughs> that, that's because no one has thought that all the way through because that would most definitely be something that would start with faculty Senate and TLSS for it to then determine how would they do this because no we, we do equate the part-time into full-time but will that be something that we will, we will carry into the full-time side that would be just like any part-time and that would be like our leader but it's, it's just, She's not faculty, but she's been part-time staff for many, many years. And when we switched her over, please, we switched her to full-time. When we just grandfathered her in to say, okay, you are now on the 20-year level as a full-time employee. That has never happened in the 18 years I've been here. Now, not to say that it can. <laughs> and that, that may be something like that. Not but 20, I think not you talk about the U.S. Yeah, just in the service. service. Oh, no, I, I was talking about like, yeah, so when you come and rank for income and full time faculty. Oh, that's all. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Yes, that's about. all part of it. Okay. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I was kind of So you were, you were mentioning the, um, you're not mentioning for retirement. I'm, you say retirement. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. I don't want to talk about it one year. Oh, I'll be in. I'll be in the years over here. Full time. When I'm a full time bucket, uh, I want to leave five years. Oh, I you got When you're talking vested with the college, that's different. Because when it comes to vesting with the retirement, we have no control over that. That vesting with the retirement is mandated. It's all based on your position and how long, you know, what your position um, status is. So you were not eligible before to be vested or considered to be invested for the time that you were with the retirement part-time, so the state will not include that at all. When you started as a full-time, it starts from that day. If you were a regular part-time, like Arnita, it starts from that day. When Arnita was on call, she and her status did not qualify for Maryland State, so you could use that time towards her. So the years of experience for Right. The years of experience would be here at the college or some type of college. And it would be, and, uh, and honestly, the only thing it would benefit is your ranking. Your ranking. Because all that would get the same personally, sick leave, all get the same, no matter whether it's 10 years faculty or 25 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but it's Maryland State, we have no control over it. And with the um, optimal retirement, there is no best. You have to come in 100% best. Anybody else? Did you guys uh, describe a few of the benefits part time faculty do have? I seem to recall that uh, part time faculty have. Yeah, there's a slide. Uh, no. Okay. Um, was there something about other oh, tuition waiver? Okay, excellent. Uh, and the difference between full time and part time. Full time have tuition waiver here and tuition assistance outside. Whereas part time only has tuition waiver here. And full time you get tuition waiver for your family members too, right? Yes. Part time it's only for you. Oh. So 
and it's for credit and non credit risks. So, so there are a few hats on score. Yes, see your better. So is, um, is that like for navigators as well um, that are part time if they're okay? I thought it was dear. See you better. <laughs> no, I, I think you're just. I think you're just gonna get an F. And that, that's what I keep telling my wife. Um. So um. My daughter, she's a, she's a navigator, and she went to take some classes. They told her she could. They told she couldn't have a nice. That's why I came. So now they may be looking at navigator as a call position and not a regular part time position or as an adjunct position. See, it all depends on the classification, how it falls into the classification. Okay. Any other questions? What about that just there? Part time adjunct company. If you work with, you have to go double time to be five years, 10 years. How do you want to evaluate? Service. When it comes to length of service, do you mean for awards? Or yeah, awards? just for recognition. For recognition, it's free time. So you don't have to work double time to get your 10 years. So if you if you miss a mark, right. it's probably because you had a break in your um, adjunct. So let's say that you worked five years of years for an adjunct, and then you took a year off. Ah. And then it was time for your 10 year, and you knew you was at your 10 year. But your calculation shows you So you have to do calculation. You have to be continuous. continuous. Thank you. So yeah, you don't have to start over and then the rate. It just slows your count down. So you just okay. Do. Thank you. So they do five, ten. Five, ten, 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 ten. Yes. Yes. What about some of recognition generally? I can hear you. What about the recognition report? Yes, ma'am. See, when is it? Yeah, I know because the clothes are just. Okay. Yeah, we, we, did. we just had one. Uh, one. That's that point. Right. We just had I didn't one. get lunch today and they had one already. What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was in April. Now. Yeah, in yeah. April. Stuff got because of COVID, things got switched around. It used to be like in February or March or something like that. So you got it shifted to April. That one? Okay. Okay. And it's B. And it's B. Okay. So if I need to come and change my personnel with I would go to that. Yes. What, what is it? Address change? Taxes? Taxes. Taxes will be payroll. Oh, payroll. Right here, Ken Hall, 113. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is a question. Yeah, question. Well, the question. For the question is how do they determine how much they cover? Is there like a benchmark or number? Yeah, so, it's a certain percentage. Yeah, it's a percentage. Here's a percentage. So per calendar year. Per calendar year. That's all you can put in in a book in a calendar year, yes. But there's a percentage of it that is paid. It's first come, first serve basis with a lot of money for, for um, full time. And you submit your core schedule and your grade, make your reimbursement. Any other questions? I want to thank you all. Thank you. Make sure you fill out the evaluation. <laughs> put the phone back up. Put your phone back up. Put your phone back up. So you can get your credit. That's why she's. What's the right? Thank you.